Now, we're all feeling a bit more stressed and anxious at the moment, but here's a coping mechanism that you might not have thought about. A group in Indonesia have found an unusual way to vent their pent-up emotions, a swearing competition. Oh, I'd win first prize for no, that. No, I'd win, I'm sure. Oh, we'll have a competition, shall we? Yeah. Have you got that box No, ready? you won't. No, I've got my big <laughs> box. Don't make me nervous. Don't make me nervous. Look, poor Brenda's all upset. She doesn't like swearing, do you, Brenda? I'm not for it. Ooh, yeah. Now I've got a, um, I've got a swear box because obviously I find it very very difficult. Um, this is not any old swear box. This is an artwork swear box by Gilbert and George that I've oh, got in the table. You're tape. such a poser, aren't you? I'm not a poser. It's the swear box that's been living in my living room for probably six years now, and I think. Oh, there's an old bit of wood, I bet you paid a fortune for it. Four <laughs> pence in it, actually. I've had a look through the slot. It has to be said, you have been a bit naughty on the show in the past, Janet. We've got the evidence. Really? Don't look I like that. We've got the evidence. so hard. And you're getting male attention. Mm. It's what makes the world go round. No, I mean... but when you get to my age, they don't shout nice things. They shout, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you ugly old cow. <laughs> We do have to apologise as well uh, for, for Janet's language uh, a little bit earlier in our chat. <laughs> oh, all that happens when I go in the garden, you start ranting about st slugs, caterpillars, <laughs> weeds daring to grow. Actually, the, grow, the garden is going to make you very it. stressed out, ladies. No, you see, because you've got time then to, to no, make what, it time? beautiful. I've got no time. I'm busy all the <laughs> time. I don't want to be... You know... <laughs> Where are you going to to apologise again? Oh, <laughs> Oh, no, I blame Jane MacDonald. I blame Jane MacDonald. You said you'd never sworn on television before. Well, I, in my head, I haven't. <laughs> but also, viewers have to know that the guidelines, what, what constitutes a swear word in 2020 is quite different if you're as old as me, i.e. hundreds of years old like a pterodactyl. Swearing <laughs> in 1975 was a different set of words. But you have to be really careful when there's kids around, don't you? So I've changed well, a lot who of... Who are you, are you telling I, yourself? Yeah. Us, so I've changed a lot of what I say when there's children around. Like, if I do panto and there's kids around, you have to say, instead of saying S in hell, yes. you say chicken hell. Chicken hell. Or instead of saying S-H-I, you yes. say sugar. Oh, so there, but well, let's see who's three. You know how kids pick oh, things hang on, up. Wait a minute, before you start on the story, I have the bleep machine ready. ready. Go she on. said what she'd obviously heard her mum say, and he doesn't sit on his... All day, beep all day. But she said, Daddy sits on his <laughs> beep all day. <laughs> See? I did it. Can I have a round of applause, please? Yeah, I'm swearing. swearing. <laughs> but um, yeah, well, I try not to swear in front of the kids as much as I can, but sometimes it just slips out. And actually, sometimes it's quite good to have a rant and rave, isn't it? Oh, Scream and shout. I have well, to I see. just rant all the time, so I mean, it's part we of We know, my... love. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't even know I'm swearing. To I be think honest. Brenda's swearing at us right now. Look at her, she's going <laughs> to rant off some expletives. No, when I was growing up, it, obviously I, I grew up in a Pentecostal background in a you know a church and everything, and it was not the it was not the one to be swearing. And I still to this day I don't swear in front of my my aunt and my family. And if the kids happen to say something, they immediately apologise because they know oh, no okay. shouldn't do that. So um, you know it sometimes in the heat of the moment you might drop something and you say oh. Look how good word, she is. But oh, yeah, as, as I try, I try my best to leave them out. I have to say, my language during lockdown has got much, much has worse. It? I mean, it has. I mean, my youngest is now thirteen, and when they were younger, I was very strict about it, not swearing in front of them. But now, thirteen and eighteen, I've let it go a bit, Brenda. You'd be ashamed of me. I'm really sorry. <laughs> the good one is, oh, 13. Poo bums. <laughs> poo bums. 